So in this tutorial number 10, we are going to make uh, this object over here. Mostly we are going to use the line tool, the offset tool, uh, the copy tool, the mirror tool. I'll be making just half of this section and then mirroring it onto this side. Okay, so we have some polar tracking that we will be using for the angles. I will keep it at 15 right now. You can go right click here and you see 15 is on. Uh, I'll be using a lot of trim, uh, then copy, layers obviously, dimension and line. Okay, now let's start with this exercise. I'm going to start somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to make my, uh, my middle line. I'll just use maybe the uh, maybe the reference for the middle line it's okay I could use a different layer now I start from the top going this way so I'm basically starting right here from the top going this way point seven enter but to make sure that I am working on the right layer okay and I make that layer current so that was that line and from the center till the end is 2.80 I'll offset that as well O oh, enter 2.8 enter so that's my extreme end and this object height from there till down here is 3.64 offset 3.8 Six, four. so I stay within limits of my drawing now the next thing I will do is I'll just draw a line from here till here because that is that line and I will have to make a 45 angle starting at the end of this line right there so line from here is going 45 45 would be how much 135 okay and how much is the distance from here to here is 1.40 so I'll just make a reference line which I'll delete offset 1.40 right there and then from here is going 45 again right so this is how we have that shape so I'm going to trim TR that one and we have a little like a valley over here or uh, like a gutter so how would I make that gutter so first of all I need to see how far the gutter is going from so the top 0 0.84 offset 0.84 which is from the top so this is how far it's going and from the center is 0 0.14 I'll make a line going through the center offset I'm going to offset, offset this distance 0.14 on this side as well as that side so this is the little gutter that I got I'm just going to go ahead and trim it Okay, so my trimming is done. I trimmed one line, not the right, not the right way. So trim in again. I will trim these lines because I don't need them. I will erase this. I will trim that one as well. Okay, so a lot of trimming, a lot of modifications, but we've covered those commands before. So I'm pretty sure you should be able to follow. So from here I'll be going down 0 0.63. So offset or not an offset. I'm just going to draw a line. Enter. From here going in this direction 0.63. Enter. From here I'm going how much? 60. How far? I don't know. I'll just draw uh, an angle of 60. In fact uh I don't think it's from there because I have to draw 
that little offset which is over here at a distance of 0 0.21 offset 0.21 enter okay so I have to make that line going from here till here and then from here I could draw that angle which was 60 okay now I can erase this line it's always good to erase and keep working as you go because you don't want a clutter of lines all over the place so you get confused so now we have another offset from this to here which is 1.4 offset 1.4 enter So this one going all the way up to here and from this point how much was the angle 60 so I do that so I could trim these two excess line using the TR enter select the whole area enter and I'm gonna trim them both in one time okay so I got that from here then we have a line going down up to where up to 3.01 from the top line so I can offset that 3.01 offset this up to here so this is the point that I just got and from that point I'll draw a line at an angle of 15 going going up to somewhere over here okay I have to find out till where so I can delete this I can make this line go down straight so I'm getting there step by step now I have to make this line which is 0 0.98 from the center so I will offset 0.98 from the center which is right there okay and then I can just make this go up till here I will draw this line and I will TR this one now one thing is left is I have this angle going from here till there and it's at a distance of 0.21 okay this is my center line offset 0.21 onto that side okay so this is where it ends and I have a line going here at an angle of 60 okay so I go up to 60 then I do my trim TR enter I trim that part and I trim this so now if you see we pretty much got done with our profile I'm going to delete those lines only keeping the center one now the next part is doing this star so we have to start with another bunch of offsets starting from the top 0 0.84 0 0.63 so on offset 0.84 enter this is where the tip of the star is then I go offset 0 0.63 0 0.63 and this is where my star is how far the width is and then again offset 1.05 offset 1.05 I'm going from there till here now I got to offset it this way at 0 0.88 till here to the center and 0 0.56 for the lower part of the star okay so I have to make two offsets offset 0.88 for the top part of the star and then offset 0.56 for the lower part of the star okay so now just fill it in we're gonna start with the star from the top it's going all the way till here uh, I think yeah it goes all the way up till here then this star is going on this side right so I'm going to make these offsets on this side as well because I would like to finish the star click here to here I got that distance now I'll set this 
then offset again click here to here see I don't even need to calculate the distance okay and I can always make these go up till here make these go till here and make that go up till here so I got one line of my star let's do the other one the other one goes up till here then there is a line going from the extreme end of the star till here and extreme end till here so I'm pretty much done with my star I will erase my reference lines and I will do the trim to trim my star of the axis excess lines that I don't need okay I will erase select that erase select this erase so I'm pretty much done only thing I need to do is mirror my outline onto this side okay and how would I do that using the MI mirror command or I could use this one I'm going to select just my profile I'm not selecting the star because the star is already done and I have to click two lines because this is my mirror line I click one over here maybe one over here it's asking me erase source object I hit N for no enter so now I'm done pretty much exactly the same as what you see on this side minus the dimensioning so I'll erase this I'll move my whole drawing a little bit to the left so I have space for dimensioning and then all I have to do is go ahead and put dimensions now we've done dimensions before so I'm pretty sure you can go ahead and work with the dimensions make sure it's on the dimensions layer and let's put in a few more dimensioning I'm not gonna do the whole thing but let's put a few more dimensions huh. I have to be on my dimensions layer make current then dimensioning the height going all the way from here till here see I'm using linear dimensions like I've been using that before and I have another dimension going from there till here then I'll have another dimension going from here till here from here till here and I will have some angular dimensions in here as well linear angular click on that angle this angle Good. do the same thing on this side if I want it but it's repeating so it's okay I could put in this angle okay which is 120 then I could finish it off with even more linear dimensions going from the center to this offset from the center to that offset so I hope you understand how I'm doing all these dimensions I'll just be moving it out of the way so to make sure that the dimensions don't overlap because there's a big chance of uh, of doing a mistake if the dimensions overlap now I can even put the star dimensions going from the center till that edge going down then going from here till that edge going I'll go this way right and there's another one going that way so I could pretty much put all my dimensions in anything left I think that's pretty much it so I hope you understood this tutorial uh, it is pretty lengthy it takes a lot of time I know I went a little fast but we've done a lot of tutorials before so I think you should be able to follow if you have any questions 
please let me know and I'll see you in class